Hey, welcome to vlog number three. We're uh, inside Cadence and we're doing a small project. Let me show you that real quick. But we're dreaming about a much larger project, right? It will make my life so much easier. It'll make all of our lives so much better. <laughs> so what we're doing currently, I'm gonna take the camera away. Okay. What we're doing currently is running the line to our Starlink. Really simple project. That way our daughter can have plenty of internet to play her video games on. And I can have internet to, well, work so we can make money to sell. And I can have internet to look up recipes and cook for these people. <laughs> uh, don't let her kid, kid you. She works hard too. And watches the Netflix. So That's right. <laughs> so we've got to get that wire through this cable run that goes behind the cabinets here. And there's no access to them through the cabinets. We don't have metal clothes hangers or anything like that. So we're going to get a little creative using a fishing rod. I think that'll work. Right now our cabin is in disarray. This is where we live back here, but oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> this is a, a drop down for the sofa in the, in the salon. This allows it to become a bed. This is my heavy duty fishing rods. I'm going to use these fishing rods to fish this Starlink line through here behind the cabinets. Looks like it's long enough. And no, the galley doesn't normally look like this. If you watch our regular scheduled weekly episodes, this is not a normal. We're just tearing it all apart. So hard to camera this and do the project. So we'll leave that video for another time. We're gonna be able to run that, but let me show you what we're dreaming of. You wanna come show this? <laughs> so we're back here in the in our cabin, the master cabin, and we're tearing it all apart. And we're looking at options for storing the water maker. What did you see? What did I see? Um, this is a nice, long, open space that could fit some membranes underneath it. Yeah, so, so the membranes are the long, high-pressure filters that uh, really extract the salt water and bacteria from the water. But they're long. They're like um, 30 inches, maybe. I think 36. About a meter. But we have this space behind the bed here. This is like a headboard. And this whole space back here is fiberglass. And it's a, the hole comes under like this. And so they make a right angle here for storage. But I think we can cut into this. I think we can cut into that, make some type of removable cover and stow those membranes back here permanently. That would be so nice. They're really heavy to carry up, carry up and down the companionway. So if we can get them installed, that would make me very happy. Yeah. And of course, when the room's put back together, clothes won't be here. I think the only real modification besides the hole in the hull is <laughs> cutting this headboard off, you know, wrapping the fabric back appropriately to where this is just fiberglass here. This is a seat and put a door on that, on that fiberglass where you can access the pump, turn it on and off and access the uh, pressure knob. That's a pretty big, uh, project, not on today's list, but that's something we're going to start thinking of. That Maybe might, soon. That would work really well. We've got electrical right here to uh, power it. We have... The plumbing is already set to have a second AC in the back, so we could plumb it into that um, pipe to get the yeah. excess water. Salt water. Right? Salt, salt water is an intake we could use. Uh, there's also a spare seacock under the stove on the other side of our wall here. So we have options. This might work. I like it without having to take up Matt's closet. <laughs> I like it. So I don't know. Let's, I guess, YouTube, if you want to talk comments, drop your thoughts down below if that you think that's going to be a worthy project to cut this fiberglass up. This is the inner liner, and it kind of 
creates cavities for storage, and I think that's a cavity we could take advantage of. Been to, yeah. Yeah. We have to just figure out where to put the filter. It has to be accessible to change out the filter, but yeah. Yeah. we can figure out. We have options. So anyway, that's what we're working on today. Project. Here's the wiring run. I have a lot of my flashlight, but you can see how it's a great run. For that. So super easy to get to the wiring on our boat. You just drop this uh, facade here down, it's screwed in, just unscrew it. You have all access to the wiring up in there. Also have access to the hole. This is the whole deck joint right here. So every six inches, there's a, there's a washer and a bolt. And then the hole in the deck is all the way across, chemically bonded, I believe, 5200. So that's that. Simple life on a sailboat. I don't mind showing you the messy parts. This is really messy right now. Welcome to our messy home. <laughs> but uh, this is a fun little project we're doing today and dreaming for the future. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching the vlog.